Hey everyone, what's going on? Hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, I'm here at Newcastle today. Um, actually at uh, Tyneside Cinema for their Christmas All Nighter events. I just saw movie one, which is, so all of these are like surprise. So I'll try to catch up with you guys like each after each movie ends. Uh, it is currently literally 12 minutes past 12. You're probably not gonna be able to see that. But uh, yeah, the first movie was actually a movie called The Silent Partner uh, with Christopher Plummer, uh, Elliot Gold and um, John Candy was also in this movie as well and what I want to say this guys is just kind of like quick out in the cinema thoughts uh, this was a very fun movie uh, from 78 I believe definitely some elements of like the exploitation kind of genre uh, some elements that if you, like, you go into it now and kind of like have the mindset of kind of like modern audience in a way there's uh, definitely a lot of moments in here I was like wow okay like they did that in the 70s like that was like absolutely crazy but I like really really enjoyed it um, I would definitely say like in the middle it kind of loses track a little bit like, Kind of, so Christopher Plummer plays the villain here and without too many spoilers there's a part where he kind of disappears for a little while I mean it makes sense because it's in the story um, but there's a little bit of part where he's not in it it kind of slows the pacing like right down because like uh, Christopher Blum and Elliot Gold have like actually really good chemistry when they're starting to kind of like have a battle of wits so to say um, overall a fun movie I would probably give it like a three out of five star i would definitely check it out again so yeah i'm actually now going to go into stock and fillers number two and uh i'll catch up with you guys afterwards and i think this is going to finish about nearly 2 a.m so let's head inside do you want access to early videos videos you won't ever see here onto the channel well click the link down below in the description box today and join my patreon with memberships only starting from one pound per month you get so much extra stuff and it costs less than one coffee per day and i'd also like to give a quick thank you to all my awesome patrons who help to really support the channel and who are also reaping all these benefits so join them today <music> Yeah, time check is like um, 2.24 a.m. Yeah, I'm still awake. I am still a madman. Just got out of the um, stocking fillers uh, Christmas all night here at Tyneside Cinema for movie two. And it was a movie called The Day of the Beast, which is actually a Spanish movie. And you'll see like the Spanish poster here. I knew absolutely nothing about this. Um, and what I will say after coming out of it is this movie is wacky, guys. It is really fun i mean it's 103 minutes long um i know none of the actors or anything in this movie i will say that there is parts where i think this movie is a little bit too long and it kind of loses its um kind of unique style in a way but what i will say is ultimately is that there is a lot of violence in this movie there is also a death of a rabbit of an animal by the way so that's just kind of like a little bit of a trigger warning you actually see a couple of people getting burned as well and i did not expect to see that you see like a lot of stuff in here which is crazy because essentially the plot is about a priest a professor and a fan of heavy metal music are uh, team up to try stop the birth of antichrist <laughs> if that plot sounds unique and this movie's from 1995 i think you'll definitely enjoy it there was some moments i had, like laughed out loud there was some moments i thought was great the cinematography the visuals the kind of blood and stuff used great my biggest issue with this is i felt it was a little bit too long and the the version that i saw which i think may have been like a blu-ray transfer or whatever for the most part was absolutely great and it looked really good but there were some parts that was also like dvd quality which they obviously haven't upgraded and those dvd qualities like the picture changes completely changes straight away and unfortunately it gets lost in it because you're seeing it's like up to date like blu-ray quality movie and it looks great but then when it switches like to do the dvd format and um like the dvd picture quality like the drop in the comparisons like absolutely crazy and it looks pretty bad um but overall a uh, pretty unique movie probably give it between the two and a half and the three stars out of five uh would i watch it again yeah probably anyway uh going into this christmas all nighter i guys just to let you know have one more movie left it starts at 2 40 so i've got about 15 minutes and um 
yeah, this is going to be ending in the evening about I think five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I am absolutely nuts, but let's get inside and let's see what it is. The time is 4.34 a.m. I just got out of uh, movie number three, and I'm going to wrap this up in a second, but I just got out of the movie Turbulence, uh, starring Ray Liotta. And basically, this is about him, who is a serial killer. He gets on board this plane as he's going to go into LAX, and as soon as he touches down in LA LAX, he's going to be arrested and sentenced to death row. Anyway, his intention is to not have this plane land and basically go down with this plane however there's a flight attendant on board called Turi who after the pilot dies she has to take over and try and land this plane and it's basically getting cat and mouse between them two uh the movie is very cheesy 90s fun like there's so much bad dialogue here that it had me and the audience like absolutely laughing and for that part it was good there was definitely some violent elements i thought oh you know that worked like quite well and i would thought it worked you know pretty well for most part um I, which i did not expect Expect, to be honest and I think underlying like underneath this movie there's actually a good movie in here but unfortunately Turbulence isn't that <laughs> unless you just want very cheesy 90s fun which is a movie that is just terrible I'm just gonna be honest with you guys so I'll be honest maybe overall give it like a two out of five stars you know it wasn't terrible like I was still entertained I definitely think this could have been like easily like 10 minutes shorter a bit more serious dialogue and some better acting I mean besides like really or because he was just fantastic he just hammed up and like just his facial expressions so yeah that was the time side all night for the Christmas there is one more movie, but I'm actually going to head home because I said it's like half four in the morning. So if you guys enjoyed this different style of video, if you have, certainly give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel by clicking the red button down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys. I'll be seeing you later.